Good afternoon. It's September 20th, and we're out here in the fig greenhouse, fig and fruit nursery and orchard, and I am Troy. And today, we are going to look at a variety that I think is a really good ideal market fig. I just picked this. It's got honey leaking out of it, as you can see. This is Dale Santa Mommy Ron. Ooh. Yeah. That really looks like something. That is a jammy, 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 jammy thick. So let's back up here and let's look at this tree. This is a nice tree. Real nice tree. Very large down here at the base. Got some good size. And I, I didn't, you can see, look how big it is. I can't even reach around it. It's huge. Um, I decided to do this one a little different on the end. I decided to kind of grow it more like a tree. As you can see, it kind of comes up and out. Uh, but it fruits really, really well. And it's a late variety. But with it being, you know, September 20th, we're going to get figs for a couple, two or three more weeks, depending on how the weather is. But we're going to still get to ripen some pretty good figs till the 1st of October anyway. So we got another 10, 10 to 15 days left of really good pick, fig picking. And I'll tell you, if you lived a little further south down into Tennessee or northern Alabama, this is one that would really do well down there. It has a good skin on it. As you can see, look, it, the skin's very pliable. It does good in the fridge. Uh, that's about the state at where we pick that one. It doesn't get a lot of cracks or anything in the skin. So you don't want a fig that's going to be cracking. Because if it cracks and you let it set in the fr fridge for a week... Uh, it might start to mold and if you don't have no cracks you don't have no mold so this is a really really good variety to grow for commercial and fresh picking especially if you live in at least 7a 7b both both would do great so we'll that's del samwami ron Mm. I'm going to tell you, got a good berry flavor, some light molasses flavor in there, real complex berry, really good, perfect ripe, just perfect for market. All right, this here is Zarfiro. Got two of them. This one here has been, it kind of hang till it dried a little bit. And uh, this here is my Zarfiro tree. We'll back out and get kind of a look at it. You can see it's, it's huge. And it's done in an Espalier low cordon form. It's about time to get in here get some leaves off but it's done in low cordon form it has produced a good oh man it has really produced a lot of figs and it's still got a lot of figs left on it let's see what these are looking like here that's really right This one won't be quite as ripe. Won't be near as ripe, I can tell you. They're both really good. This one won't keep in the fridge. This one will keep in the fridge. And it will get riper in the fridge over the next 10 days. Let's see what this tastes like. Mm. I 
just pure honey. Mmm. It's got kind of a complex flavor to it. It's a little hard to describe. Um, tastes like it maybe comes from the skin. That's a real nice, really nice one. Let's see what this looks like. That one there's not near as ripe. Mm. Totally different texture. Still sweet. That tastes some. I can taste some table sugar in it now. Yeah, it's got kind of a, a honey. It's got a honey table sugar flavor. That's what I'm getting. So, Firo, this is a good. Like I said, it's a good honey fig. And uh, it, it does well in the fridge. That'll hold up well for two weeks in the fridge without problems and kind of still ripen. So it'll get to look into that consistently and the consistency in the fridge in about two weeks. And you don't even have to cut them in half. Uh, you just put them in those Tupperware bowls and like we do and so, seal them up. We've been, we've been dehydrating a bunch of these. I'll, I'll show you at the end what some of those look like. Let's go see what other varieties we can find to look at. Alright, now we're here under the big tree. We've been kind of waiting. We've finally been getting to eat a couple of these. This is YOLO Bypass. And let's look how let's look how big the tree is. It's a nice got a nice low cordon system started on it. As you can see. It's about knee high. And then it comes out. These seem to do good. Uh, it didn't fruit real heavy. It was kind of late getting fruited. But it's still got several, a lot of fruit on it. We have picked several pieces of fruit off of it and been sampling it. I wanted to try it at different stages. and See, this is about the stage you want to pick it at for market. But if you're eating it fresh... Let it hang one more day. Oh, but I, I want to show today what they look like, what we pick them from when they're picked from market. Because they're still really, really beautiful at this stage. This has a nice skin on it uh, at this point, and uh, it's just perfect for uh, a market. It's not, it's not real big. But maybe as this tree gets a little more mature, these figs will get bigger. My Smith figs are not very big. Hmm. That's got a nice strawberry flavor to it. There's a little touch of cinnamon in there, but not much. And the riper it gets, the the less you'll taste the cinnamon, I can tell you. Uh, it's still, but it, it congeals into something really neat at that point. So, YOLO Bypass, it's it's definitely, for me, it is definitely a, a winner. Yellow skin, red interior, tasty thick.